Here's how to enter a confidence interval for a proportion, or perhaps you call it a percent or a portion. This is off of my video 7.3 part two on proportions. At timestamp three minutes and 45 seconds, I solved the following problem. Since proportion confidence interval have a lower and an upper end, you basically do the same problem once with a subtraction and once with an addition. So here's how we're going to enter it with a subtraction. The blue number represents the value specific to this problem. Notice that I don't need to enter the zero in front of the 0.4. First, we will do the minus 2.33. We're gonna multiply with the square root, so I like to hit the time symbol. Perhaps you don't need it, but I like to play it safe. Don't forget to take the square root of a value since it's in purplish above the x squared. I first need to hit second and then x squared to physically get the square root symbol. Inside of these parentheses, I don't need the parent, sorry, inside the square root, I don't need the parentheses as they're listed. That was for clarity in handwritten notes with decimals. But I can now just enter 0.4 times 0.6 for the numerator, divided by, don't hit any more parentheses because they'll close off your square root, 200, whoops, 200, not 20. And then even though the square root started with a parenthesis, I don't need an end parenthesis. I can just hit enter and I get the lower bound confidence value of 0.319, etc. Remember on this calculator, if I want to do the exact same thing with a plus, instead of typing it all over again, I can hit the up arrow once and it brings me back into the line I just typed. I can go where the, the minus sign was and hit a plus, I didn't even need to delete it. And now if I hit enter again, I get the upper bound value of 0.480, et cetera, and I didn't have to retype the problem.